So let's take a look at some other options here because we're not too concerned with projecting that. Let's say that we have the surface in our 3D sketch and we actually want to just create the geometry directly on it. We're going to use the curve on face option. We're going to select the face and then we can start sketching our spline directly on the face of that surface. So now that curve is created in 3D without having to project it into from our 2D sketch or from our 3D sketch projecting onto a surface. So keep in mind that there are various ways that you can do this. Whether you're working in a 2D sketch and projecting to 3D, which is by far the easiest way to do it, or doing a curve on a face, or using project to surface. So these three are all creating the same type of geometry, but for the most part when we do this, we have various options on different ways that we can control that geometry. When you're just getting started, I highly suggest that you start out with a 2D option, work in a 2D sketch, create your spline, and then project it into a 3D sketch. It'll create the 3D sketch for you, create the spline for you directly on that surface. But all three produce about the same result. There are some various variations because when you use project to surface, you can dictate that different ways that this can happen. All right, so for instance, when you do uh, project along vector, you need to pick an axis that you're going along, all right? So we'll do this process one more time with something that's a little bit more simple. We'll go into our arc. Again, we're gonna do it on a 2D plane, and then we're gonna hit escape, all right? So now we have an arc on a 2D plane, and we wanna project that to our surface. So the face that we're gonna use, the curve that we're gonna use, in this case, we wanna dictate the direction it's gonna go, and then we can dictate the various options. In this case, project the closest point, we apply, and it pushes it up, in, in this case, to that corner. Now, obviously, that's not the ideal result, and let's take a look at what some of the other options do. If we do project to surface, go ahead and apply that. That's a little bit more realistic than what you would expect by using the option to project a long vector. Now, if we do this one more time, using the exact same curve, and we do wrap to surface, Notice that it's not giving us the option. Now wrap to surface has some restrictions in the fact that it needs to be a cylindrical face, whether it's an extruded circle or revolve, whereas this case, it's a spline surface. So it doesn't give us the option. But the nice thing about the wrap to surface is it allows you to wrap a curve around it. So let's take a look at a way that we can do that. So let's hide surface one for now. And let's start a new sketch on the XY plane. We're going to take a circle, we're going to finish our sketch, and we're going to extrude the circle. We're going to select the surface option and just drag it out, you know, about 15 inches. And then we want to take a look at another 3D sketch. So again, we're going to start a spline. We're going to do a control vertex spline. We're going to sketch on a plane, and we're going to view this from the top. So what I want to do is I want to take this curve and create it so that it extends past the cylinder. So now if I do project, the face is the cylinder, the curve is the spline, and then we're going to wrap. So notice again that it is not giving us the option, and the issue here is that this curve is inside of the cylinder. So this does happen from time to time and it causes some problems, but what we can do is a 3D transform, we're going to do, instead of rotation, we're going to do translation. And we can simply move this curve up. And now when we try to project, our face is this. Our curve is the spline. And we're going to do wrap. So this is one of the big pitfalls of this tool and why so many people have issues with it. Because even though we drew this on a plane, or rather we selected a plane, Inventor doesn't really consider it to be a planar sketch. So what you have to do is we have to finish this sketch. Now in this case, our 3D sketch. We're gonna drag the end of part up before that sketch, and we wanna create a 2D sketch. 